Good morning. Happy Sunday. Today is July 23rd, 2023, and it's my birthday. I'm 26 today, which is kind of hard to believe because the years are just flying by. It just goes faster and faster every single year. I feel like it was just my birthday. I'm excited to be celebrating my birthday in England this year. Last year I was home for my birthday in the middle of a contract, so it was nice to be home, but this year is going to be really special. I already had a really special celebration last night with Callum's family, so I'm excited for the day. So excited. I am very tired this morning. I didn't sleep that great last night, probably just excitement, but I did sleep with my little heatless curls contraption in, and my hair turned out pretty good. So we're off to a great start for the day. I also get a free Starbucks because I got my little treat on my app. So we're gonna make sure we stop and pick that up. And then we are going to York for the evening or day and evening. So that's gonna be really exciting because neither of us have ever been there. So we're taking the train around 10 and then we'll have the entire day and evening to explore, explore, explore. <laughs> I love my birthday and I love filming it because then I can look back on how I've changed and grown over the years and I want to say the first birthday I ever filmed was like my 17th birthday maybe it was my 18th but I want to say it was my 17th birthday and so much has changed since then. Gotta start the day with some eggy time. Ooh, nice flip. That was such a gentle flip. Love you. Starting the morning off strong with some greens. Do we need a nice pocket? Probably. We're en route officially. The train we were planning on taking got canceled. Well, the second leg of it. So we are just gonna take the next one because there is a train every hour. So instead of leaving at 10, we're leaving at 11, which means we have time to stop at Starbucks for my birthday treat. So I'm not mad about it. The sun is looking like it's trying to peek out though. Let's we'll see how long it lasts. Nice. Thank you. Secured the drink. I got a venti iced espresso shaken brown sugar oat. What is it even called? It's the oat milk shaken espresso with brown sugar. Their venti's here are a little smaller than in the States, but it's still plenty of coffee for me. I want to say there's a triple shot in here, so. Little taste test. Mmm. That is good. I feel like this drink would have cost like eight or nine dollars, pounds, if I didn't have my birthday reward, so. Happy birthday to me! Although, this was a struggle to get, I placed my order and I was gonna use my little reward on my phone, but then for some reason the machine would not scan my app. It was like rejecting all of the cards that were on my app. So I was really close to having to pay for this, but then she just let me have a free drink instead, which was really nice. But it was a little bit of a process. We scanned it like 10 or 15 times and nothing happened. It's all good because we got the coffee. Just where we ate our fish, I mean our chips, on the first day. such a smooth train ride but it was absolutely packed because the the train that we were gonna take originally got canceled so there was like double the amount of people we were able to snag a seat so that was good some people had to stand the whole ride there Check-in for our Airbnb is at 3 and it's 2 o'clock now so we're on the hunt for Flying Tiger to hopefully pick up a cheap 
umbrella because we forgot to pack ours. Reunited at last. Oh, this is a cute planner. I really want to buy everything in this store. I feel like it'll be good for my sunglasses. I wouldn't use them on my regular glasses, but I just half the time don't want to mess up my hair. So I just put them in my pocket, but then they fall out. I love this bowl. We literally came in here for an umbrella and I'm getting distracted with everything else. We're gonna pick up my postcard. First thing before I forget. <laughs> hmm. This one's nice. But then this one's also nice. Or this one. I can't decide. I feel like I should get this one, maybe. We got our umbrella. I got my postcard. And now we're gonna walk through the Shambles Market. We're not sure what time everything closes because it's a Sunday, so I wanna come back. <laughs> I wanna come back here once we've dropped off our backpacks in the Airbnb, but if it's closed, then we will have to wait till tomorrow, so we're gonna go now. Thank you for the background. You're welcome. Okay. Oh my god, it's cute. Okay, so it's a pound now or six for five pounds. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Thank you. I just got a peanut butter and salted caramel brownie for a pound. They were, they were going six for five, but there's no way I can eat six brownies. So I got one. Oh, that's cute. Damage is done. I bought a crew neck. Just found these little earrings that I'm gonna treat myself to. They're both four pounds. There's just so much to look at, and I always like to try and get something from each place that I visit. So I'm excited to have a pair of earrings from New York. <gasps> It scared me. <laughs> fell so far away. Last night was one big holiday. Okay, let's see. Do you know the number? Seven second to the top left. Right here. This is nice. It looks brand new. So nice. We're gonna settle in quickly and then head back out, but I wanna try the brownie I got. Yum. Mm. Makes me feel like I should have gotten more than one. This is a jumper I got today from the little market. Cute little vintage champion crew neck. But I think it's really cute and I got it for 22 pounds. We're about to head out back into the rain. Luckily we've got our umbrella, so I think the plan for now is we're just gonna walk around, maybe see some of the sights and pop into a few shops here and there. Yeah, we're gonna go for a nice dinner tonight. Haven't decided on where we're gonna go. There's a few options, so I guess we'll just see what we're feeling when the time comes. Really happy to be here. The only thing that would make it better is if the sun was out, but that's okay. We had like two minutes of sun today, so it's better than nothing. down at Fancy Hanks and we're just strolling along we saw that they have a happy hour till 6 and it's 5.45 so we've taken a seat. We just ordered Pretty as a Peach cocktail so hopefully that's good. We're gonna enjoy a little cocktail and some apps. Those look nice. Smells like a peach mojito. It kind of does. Cheers! Cheers. 
Oh, this is good. I really like this. Drinks were good. Two for 12. Fun little happy hour moment. It is freezing. The fact that it's the end of July and it feels like mid-October in Buffalo is disgusting. So I'm freezing my little tush off. This is by far the coldest birthday I've ever experienced. But at least we're together. We don't really have a plan. Everything is closed now because this is Sunday. Everything really closed, like all the shops and things like that. They closed around six. Hi, you can put me on the vlog. Your favorite's back. Joe. All right, thanks for calling. We're really old now, so we can't hear anything you're saying. But it's nice to see you again. Come and see us at time. Menu looks good. Sesame salmon, that sounds good as well. Mmm, would you eat here? We came across an Italian restaurant we were thinking of maybe going to and on our way back to that restaurant We came across this other little place that was a few doors down and we decided to sit down in there It was so good, but we split a bang bang cauliflower Appetizer which was incredible like so tasty. I think it's the best bang bang cauliflower I've ever had and I have tried it from a bunch of different restaurants because it is a favorite of mine. We also managed to snag another happy hour. It was from four to eight there from Sunday through Thursday. So we got really lucky with that. It was 11 pounds for two cocktails, which was really nice because the cocktails themselves were like 10.50. So it was well worth it. And then for dinner, Callum got a steak and I got the teriyaki glazed salmon with like Thai noodles underneath. It was so flavorful. I'm still full. When they first brought it, I was like, I don't know if it's gonna be enough food, but it was more than enough. And I really had a nice birthday dinner. We've just been back at the Airbnb for the last hour or so relaxing because both of us are really tired, but we're about to make our way out because we're going bowling. There is a 10 pin here. So we're gonna grab an Uber and head there now and play a couple games of bowling. I think we should go down to have to oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> run, Forrest, run! Are we going the right way? Yeah. Okay, bowler photo. Oh, that was... It's a strong start. first game and since then it's just going downhill definitely gotta stick to skating but maybe I should take some bowling lessons nice
morning. It is the next day. It's July 24th. This is a birthday vlog, but it is also a travel vlog and our exploring is not done just yet. I had the best birthday. This trip has been so incredible. Such a surprise because obviously I didn't know where we were going. York is so cute. I am in love with this little city. We do have a bit more exploring today. The weather looks a lot better outside. I'm hoping it stays this way, but you just never know with the UK. So we want to walk the York walls. It's basically a wall that surrounds the entire city. So we're going to first check out of our Airbnb, drop our backpacks at like a storage locker so that we don't have to carry them around today. I do really want to see Clifford's Tower and I also want to walk down Shambles Street again because we did go through Shambles Market yesterday, but we kind of quickly went through it. So I want to go back over that area again. And then we may visit the museum gardens depending on how energetic we're feeling as the day goes on. The traveling is starting to catch up on both of us. I woke up quite tired today and I slept like a log last night. So that's the plan. Nice. It's so funny that it's in this little trench. Okay, time to drop our bags. We just reserved with radical storage at this place. <laughs> So we used this website called Radical Storage to drop our luggage and it was so easy. We found a place, literally a three minute walk from our Airbnb. So we just reserved a spot online, paid for it, and we dropped our bags. And it was super smooth, easy. So now we are bag free for the day, which is quite a relief because it's never fun to lug around a backpack when you're exploring. Shall we go? Yeah. Here we go. Oh, I gotta set my watch. We've been walking the York Wall for about a mile and a half now, and now we're at Clifford's Towers. We're making a pit stop for a coffee for the last leg of our walk because we are on the wall right now and there's a coffee shop right here. So we're gonna go in. Feeling accomplished, and we finished our coffee just in time. In total, that was 3.15 miles. I love Christmas. <gasps> Look at all the ornaments. This store is Christmas 24-7. Oh, I'm excited for Christmas now. Yeah. This just put me in the Christmas spirit. We've got some chips from Mr. Chippy and our bartender from last night for our happy hour drinks is playing guitar. We've got our backpacks and now we're heading to the train station. We're gonna try and get on the 320 train because we've done everything that we wanted to do for the day and we prefer to just get back a little earlier but it's been a great trip it's a, a very strong start to 26. i have a good feeling about 26. nice both keys probably should have checked that before we left but it's true <laughs> At least they're in there. We're home. 